I haven't heard from Ben Stein in a long time. The last time I heard from Ben Stein was that he was um, he was getting rolled by uh, by women who wanted uh, funding from him, right? He he was a pay pig, right? Something like that. That that was the whole point of win Ben Stein's money. He he like got off on giving people his money. Oh, um, that's weird. Little did we know we that were witnessing something very ginky on that uh, show. Gross, gross, gross. Stop. Here is uh, Trish Regan. She, she is. She's, uh, a, she's strange. She is strange. She's like it's. Uh, it's almost like she says like, "Hey, I want you to put my, um, uh, my, what do you call? What do they call that? Uh, that 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 goes up. Thing you read. The prompter. Yeah. Prompter. I want you to put um, half my stuff on a prompter over there. Half my stuff on a prompter over there. <laughs> Half my stuff on a prompter over there, because I want to make it look like I'm just trying to think about things as I say. Yeah, exactly. I'm starting to think she's just like a fembot being operated by Steve Bannon. Let's see. Here we go. Let me ask you this, though, Ben. In this environment, where you're now looking at the lowest unemployment rate for black Americans in the history of the United States of America under none other than President Trump, is any of that loyalty starting to shift? I mean, are, are traditional black Democrats saying, hey, maybe the Democratic Party has failed me. Maybe I need to rethink this. I wish I could say that that was true, but I don't think it is true. I, I don't know why it isn't true, but uh, there is a very deep attachment to uh, black people feeling like they're the underdogs and the feeling it's like they've been victimized. And for a very long time, they were the underdogs and they were being victimized. So you can see why they feel that way, but why they would attach themselves to a person who means nothing but trouble for everyone he touches, for everyone who comes around him, like Minister Farrakhan, is a mystery to me. I mean, this, this, this guy is a very, very bad guy. This guy is Hitler. This guy is Goebbels. He would, if he could, do all the things that they've done. I mean, he's talking about termites. What do we do with termites? We gas them. So that's what he's talking about with Jews. Um. <laughs> As long as he's not generalizing about all the blacks who um, surround themselves with uh, Louis Farrakhan. Who, once again, oh. is not of the left. So this is this is prompted by Booker saying that he would meet with Louis Farrakhan after people were uh, getting mad at him for saying Biden should apologize for the uh, segregationist stuff. Ah. So it's a gotcha. There you go. Ben Stein, of course, spends a lot of time in the uh, the black community. Trying to figure out how everybody's feeling. You guys used to be underdogs, is that right? Yeah, I wonder when he thinks that stopped exactly. When did he think that uh, systemic racism stopped? Like what year? And after after which anyone who complains about it is just being a whiner. After and Barack Obama. Became you know, president. we should just address for people who don't know this, but I assume most people do, that the labor force participation rate for black people has been going down on a fairly straight trajectory through uh, the Obama administration to the Trump administration. All right, 